Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Sandy Check in the house. Uh, yeah. You can find us. If you're interested in all these stories uh, and their full, complete versions, uh, you can check us out on our Twitter page, which is at Insanity Check 12. Our Facebook page, which is Insanity Check. Our Google Plus circles, join it, Insanity Check Radio. And in its enhanced version with all sorts of bells and whistles and those photographs, much clearer and a little bit of video thrown in, at our YouTube channel, which is Insanity Check Radio. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I know you don't think so. Yeah, I love that um, <laughs> So, our next horrific story comes to us uh, via a friend of mine who With, uh yeah hmm? which friend i was gonna say oh nicole nicole okay he- he- hello nicole uh, hi uh she uh texted me the uh actually a youtube video oh, of on, our i just gotta make a de- declaration because someone had commented on my cup uh because there's titties on there obviously and this is the first time in what how many years uh, well i guess over a year or whatever having this cup that i actually have real milk inside of this one Normally it's tea and stuff like that, but this is the first time I actually got milk in my titty cup, so. No applause for that? Uh, uh. Well, well, they gotta be sad. I mean, the titties are full of milk. Mm. (laughs) Uh, Thanks for letting us know. Yeah. Um, Yeah, what can I say there? um, So uh, my friend uh, sent me a YouTube video uh, from our, our new best buddy, uh, TJ your, Sotomayor, your new best buddy. He's not my best buddy. All right, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah Skillet will explain why he yeah. has issues with uh, yeah. Mr. Mayor or Mr. Yeah. Sotomayor or whatever the hell he calls yeah. himself. Yeah. Um, because this video was about this story. Uh, a young Negro named Rikisha Burns <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> pleads not guilty to shoving a vibrator into her two-year-old son's anus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So no, and, and just make sure to let the people know the vibrator vibrator had to be surgically. Well, can I? Re- well, I, can I get to the goddamn story? Well, then hurry up, motherfucker! Bitch, hurry the fuck up! Would it take your time, and I'll start reading it, motherfucker. Yeah, no, I'll interrupt you. Well, I'll just have this motherfucker cut your mic off like he did then last I'll week. I'll turn bitch. this fucking turn thing it over, over then. And turn it over. Turn. What you waiting for? <laughs> yeah, listen, man. I'll fucking power plex you through this fucking table. So here's a bullshit story that this chick laid down to the pigs. Uh, a Phoenix woman accused of shoving a vibrator into her two-year-old son's anus has pleaded, pleaded not guilty uh, to charges already. in the case. The vibrator had to be surgically removed. I said that. Who the fuck cares? Rakesha Burns, 21, called police almost two weeks ago reporting that her son was bleeding from his anus but said she didn't know exactly what happened. (laughs) So this kid looks like a fucking popsicle with some shit sticking out of his ass but she didn't know exactly what happened. So here's the good part. Uh, She said she was at the park (laughs) What a vile animal. (laughs) Fucking anus. Oh, and, and not a baby is screaming like a grown adult getting scalded. <laughs> Listen to this. There's new depths around here. New depths around here. That's real fucked up, man. Uh, she said she was at a park with her son that day, March 24th. Mm. And while she was looking at a text message for about 10, Ten seconds, seconds. 10 seconds. A boy she didn't know at the park did something to her son, according to courtroom documents obtained by New Times. So her son was attacked by a wanton impaler. <laughs> Some fucking she said she, impaler. She said she does not know what he did, but is sure he did something. And probable cause statement says, "Stop! Um, stop! Stop! Um, no, stop! No, no, because no, because you have to get you have to get the full the timeline to fully appreciate." how fucked up and disgusting this bitch is. No, it's just the incompetence of the lies. Well, go, go ahead. Go because ahead. she's a dirty black. Anyway, um, the boy was brought to Phoenix uh, Children's Hospital and doctors discovered that he had numerous bruises around his anus, a hanger type bruise on his hip, and yet another bruise on his neck. Doctors also found an object lodged in his rectum, which appears to be a vibrator or some other sex toy. Okay. So now you can go. Okay. So first of all. Ten seconds. Let's keep said, this in mind. She said ten in, seconds. In ten seconds, 
some, like I said, some crazy rampaging impaler came blowing in like the tornado, like a fucking Tasmanian devil with a, a dildo in his hand. He crams it in the boy and then vanishes, right? Then this dumb bitch says she does, he, she's sure he did something, but she doesn't know what happened. Now, I can understand if it was cholera or some other things that babies are screaming, but you don't exactly know why they're screaming. But if you see a vibrator with blood all around it, hanging out of your son's ass. Well, hold ass. on, hold on. You're assuming that it was hanging out. Well, well, okay, put it this way. Inspect the child, and 10 seconds flat, you look down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and you look up, and your kid is screaming to bloody Jesus. That you, you just heard the scream. And you inspect the child, which I would assume, I'm not a parent, but I would assume that's what you would do. Because if you're in a park, I would think, oh my God, he ate something. Uh, maybe he cut himself something, you know, somebody, you know, bottles of glass or something like that. You would inspect the child. And how are you going to have blood leaking out of this kid or whatever and not notice it? The, the, the timeline is fishy. The fact that she didn't inspect the child is fishy. And the fact that she didn't take this kid immediately to the hospital because if I have a screaming kid that's c clearly screaming for a very good reason and more than likely because even dogs do this if the pain is in the child's ass he's going to be clawing and reaching for his ass yeah. mm -hmm. with his eyes looking like that fucking doctor from the other fucking segment you yeah know? that one bulging out of his little head and you mean to tell me as a parent you bypass the hospital because let's just say she's so stupid she doesn't know what's wrong and she didn't expect <laughs> wait anything. A minute, wait a minute. Oh my God, it gets better. This is one of the, the, the perks of, you know, just you know, knowing, seeing a story like, okay, we gotta talk about this and then going through the whole thing. This is just like one of these little nuggets in jewels. Furthermore, police interviews Burns who still claimed that, the teenager, that a teenage boy at a park did it even though she believes it's her vibrator. You see, now I was going to say that, but I was waiting to get to the end that, you know, it, you know. This is so, where she should have been shot. So let me get this straight. Either this kid climbed, robbed her home and took the vibrator and just was hell bent on impaling her son, or she brought the vibrator with her to the park because I guess she was going to take a law. Diddle while, herself you know, in broad you know, fucking daylight. Yeah, little, 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 diddly her, her fucking clit while the kid plays in the sandbox or whatever <laughs> the fuck, which is great parenting, by the way. Uh, uh, so this, this, this rogue fucking crazed sex, <laughs> sex maniac kid. Give me this. This 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 traveler of dimensions and time time and space. <laughs> exactly. And shit. This motherfucker just stepped through a rift in fucking space, appeared, snatched her vibrator, quickly and you know, corner the cob this fucking kid <laughs> and then took off. This shit see, this is what I'm saying about people being so fucking stupid that who in their right mind it only a two year old would even believe such a fucking thing like this. This is true. This makes no sense whatsoever. And why they did not they sh yo they should have Rodney King this bitch yeah, right no, there. Uh, no, 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 I think it was, what was that, the Luima? Abner Luima? Oh, Abner, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is one bitch that needed a plungering because <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, and then you admit it's your vibrator, so how does that jibe with, you know, she's so stupid. Say it with someone else's vibrator, you fucking dumb whore. And, of course, a Phoenix police spokesman said there was zero evidence that the boy was assaulted at the park. Burns told police that she worked hard to get her son back and would not do anything like this to hurt her son. Indeed, court records show that Burns was investigated for child abuse in 2011. So where's the other bruises coming from? So probably I'm thinking that you know, she's like fucking rough handling the poor little boy and striking him and stuff God. like that. It was, it was pinhead from Hellraiser. Yeah, yeah. You know, he just yeah. fucking Chains burst. came in from all sides <laughs> exactly. of the fucking room and yeah. hooked his kid up while she fucking, you know, it ran him through with the fucking vibrator. I mean, this is a true pig in black skin. <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. son needed to have surgery to get the vibrator removed. And that's what I'm saying. It obviously wasn't hanging out. Yeah, it but, I mean, but the kid into this kid's is ass. fucking buzzing like a fucking plush toy and shit. <laughs> so something is obviously wrong because children don't make vibrating sounds. You know. According to court, the police said the injuries around the boy's anus appeared to be the cause of a hanger, which probably means this stupid, filthy bitch was trying to get this fucking vibrator out of her child's ass with a hanger. Or she was like Ramrod from uh, Vice Squad. Remember that now, back in the days? Wings Hauser, Ramrod? 
Yeah, sorry. I remember. Yeah, man. But yo, I for you old school crime movies. But yeah, so she was trying to pick. Just think of how painful this must have been for the child. She's trying to fashion some kind of hook or whatever to insert it along with the already, you know, inserted uh, vibrator into her little boy's ass and trying to hook this shit and bring it out. Obviously, the shit's probably scraping him up, causing the kid more duress and pain. You know, I've often, you know, made comments about certain people do not deserve to have children. And uh, uh, lots of people. Maybe I we'll say. get to this next, you know, the other story. Why, you know, about the EBT cars being shut off on this Saturday, which I think was kind of like frightening. But, 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 but let's just stick to this. This, this, this stinking rancid bitch should be neutered. And I'm all for neutering. I think certain people. But, but, but what blunt instrument? See, that, that's the shit. See, oh, they should hit this bitch in her uterus with a brick. <laughs> they should literally just throw bricks at this bitch's groin area and uterus. Just, just fucking bash her fucking uterus with a hey, brick. That, that's using your imagination. Literally. God damn it. Or put some, what do they say, like those YouTube things, some Pepsi and Mentos in her fucking shit and just let her blow up from the inside. She's disgusting. But about the other guy. But, 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 but hold on. But, but, but even before that, and we'll get to that right away, but even before that, forget about the stupidity and the... the, the just the... What the fuck are you doing putting a vibrator in a child's ass to begin with? I, now, I was thinking maybe she has some kind of sexual, you know, obviously the bitch is crazy. So that's number one. She's is that crazy. obvious? But is she getting off or is she like, I'm, I see, I'm, I'm you know, I'm trying to. In, in are you a, talking about clinically crazy or just like. No, the bitch is cr every kind of crazy because if she was getting sexually stimulated by fucking ass fucking her child then she is truly one of the devil's concubines if she thought that the kid was going to derive some form of sexual pleasure from this then the bitch is a dumb devil's concubine either way this bitch is completely she doesn't deserve or, or, life because or, she's too stupid to be on this planet but you know what i think it is because i don't think this bitch is crazy i think she's a dirty filthy piece of shit oh that goes without saying i think you know, you know what i think what i think she was crash test dummying her kid you know, you mean like like these this new rash of people that are bored, you know, just trying to see what what you know. You, you, here you have this this helpless individual and you know doing some Joseph Mengele shit and just experimenting. Well, I, maybe she, I think she maybe she wanted to slide it up her own dirty, filthy ass. No, I, I, I you know, wait a second. So she wanted to test to see if the shit worked out first. Yeah, see how I don't, because I, I get the fuck out of it. So she, you, so you mean you, she's literally crash testing. That's what I'm saying. She's you know, she is a crash test dummy. But it's not like the kid can respond and go, you know, thumbs up moms. I just busted five loads when you turned it on, you know, uh, but, alternating. Uh, but I, I'm, listen, we're talking about filth. You know, but, this mean, bitch doesn't look like she has any type of fucking sense. But, 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 but see, I, won't, I won't see because crazy is a cop out. I don't, but, I don't okay. believe it's crazy. But, but, but to say that she's even okay. So now you're talking about inspector gadget levels of stupidity because <laughs> yeah, if this is this okay. Is she, no, but if she's crash test dumbing, when you think of crash test, they have sensors all over themselves, so they can go read on the monitor no, and go I, to I the car. I, I mean, I just what? use the term. Oh, I, no, I just no, think she I'm wanted saying, to see if it would. I think it was like you said. Will it hurt this kid? Because I'm thinking about it. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I'm just not going to say that this I can't believe, bitch is crazy. Okay, f fuck the craziness. Will it hurt? I mean, because obviously if she wanted to know if the thing worked, all she had to do but was see, cut it you're, off. You're following if, through with sense. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying this bitch was following through with sense. It's probably some stupid shit that came into her mind. See, and I think she's a I, monster. I think it's more along the lines of, I wonder what would happen if. What, what, what's that? Not I'm testing saying. the thing out. Let me just, you know, I, here's a baby. I have my vibrator. Uh, you know, let me just do something to the motherfucker because I'm stupid and I have no life and nothing better to do. And I hate myself and hate the world. Or, and I'm or the reverse. I slide this up my ass and it felt good. Maybe it'll feel good to Junior. What? So when this motherfucker's ass ripped and the blood started dripping, shit. Listen. Oh my God! See, to me, so, these things aren't out of the realms of possibilities of filthy, dirty, fucking scum. Like I said, this bitch don't look crazy. She, uh, they, no I'm one said, no one even said this bitch sounds crazy. This bitch isn't crazy. Oh no, she, no, She's she looks like a dirty, stinking street wretch. You know, with, with, with obviously with the fucking brain of a walnut. I mean, she's fucking not the size of a walnut, of a walnut. This bitch <laughs> is fucking completely trash. Now.
Now, now what? Because I didn't watch the video of this dude. You know, this guy. Uh, you know, Sotomayor. Yeah. Now, what did he? Now, just give a brief rundown, and then I'll tell you what my issues are with this particular individual. Even though I don't think he's completely wrong. Well, again, uh, at the top of the story, uh, I mentioned that um, a video of uh, internet radio host uh, T.J. Sotomayor. Um, I don't know why I say his name like in Spanish. I don't know. Sota, 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 He, uh, <laughs> I, I, we're, we're starting to become acquainted with this gentleman. He has it in for black women. Uh, he can't stand them. He thinks they're... All of them. He thinks every, every last one of them are just... And he wasn't even ranting in this uh, uh, when he was talking about this. And, you know, he seemed, he seemed very, you know, resolute with, you know, like, like this proves... His, his, his position against the black woman. One of the things that he mentioned was that violating or being in, improper sexually with relatives, brothers, uncles, sons, and daughters is not something that's, is something that's not uh, um, um, uh, yeah, prevalent in, in, in no, other... That, well, that's not, it's not as, rare oh. to the black woman. That apparently lots... And he didn't give a number, he didn't give a, a percentage, but way more than, I guess, anyone. And he kind of mentioned that, you know, we, that we're led to believe that black women don't engage in this type of filthy behavior. But he's like, yeah, they do and they've done for a long time. And this is just another reason why he has to, as he says at the end of his video, go after you black women until your filthy, filthy let, lies and, and wretchedness is, is exposed and you become better. And, and he yeah. says, you know, People comment and, and, and about why why does I go after black women? He's like, well, basically, if there's nothing to go after, then I won't do it. But the the material is there, it's prevalent and it's plentiful, and he will continue on his mission until something changes. Well, uh, look, the, the dude, the dude, like I like I told you in the car, I think like some black woman took a shit in his mouth while he was asleep, <laughs> or something like that, because. <laughs> He brackets all black women in the same boat, all of them, and he doesn't take anything into account. It's, it, 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 it's almost as if he's of the mindset that if you are black and you're a woman, you are the worst, lowest dog shit on the face of the earth, and there are no exceptions. And I just disagree with that because on one of his other rants, he was making mention of uh, 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 some uh, woman from some reality show who happens to be a, a lawyer. And, and she was posing on her Facebook page, and you know she was posing in a way to where you could see her ass. And so he's saying, you, you don't see uh, white women, you know, uh, professional white women doing that. But what I have seen with professional white women is if they have purchased titties or if they have just a good ample cleavage, you know, not, maybe not at their job, but, you know, I've seen pictures of professional looking, you know, not ghetto white women showing whatever titties that they have. Because everybody knows, you know, black women, you know, before the gener GMO era, it was black women you know, had the asses and the white women had the titties. You know, white women had the flat washboard ass and the black woman had a big round curve ass so this dude is like well you know talking about the black woman showing off her ass I'm like well I've seen the black woman show their titties before show their cleavage they're gonna show whatever the fuck they think you know just like back in the days way back they would show their gams they would show their legs because they were like oh I got some dope ass legs so they're gonna you know you know give you the, 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 the old-fashioned pose with one leg out so you can see the legs so this dude just has some serious problems with black women, and I think it's, I don't know, actually, I don't even think it's real. I personally, I'm of the belief that he is drumming up controversy in the sense that he knows that because of things like World Star and all the other stuff, black folks will gravitate towards this kind of shit. If nothing else, just to insult him and, you know, get into some kind of uh, vitriolic dialogue with this dude going back and forth, which is good for him, good for his brand as a shock jock against whatever, you know, generating views which he can monetize and do whatever else he needs to do. So I don't honestly believe this man really feels this way because he... he to me, he positions himself as someone with some, some level of intelligence, and for him to say something like that, bracketing all black women, is just completely ignorant and ridiculous, and I don't believe, it, it just doesn't jive with his character. It's like he presents himself as one way, then he has this broad generalization, which to me is irrational. So I think he's doing it just, you no, know, I, I do believe, though, the examples that he does present, as far as in the end, like this uh, Rick Keisha Burns bitch, 
and all the other skanks that he's blown up, oh, they do deserve every bit of shame and, 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 and uh, uh, venom that he gives because they're all low scum. But they're, they, that doesn't speak for every woman in this goddamn country. That's bullshit. I, I, I totally, totally, completely disagree with that. But if you're like we always say, if you're a funky street wretch, you deserve to get what you get. And this bitch is a dirty, despicable abomination. A vile creature of hell. Look at this bitch. <laughs> Word. Disgusting. So, yeah. So, that dude, I mean, you might want to check his stuff out. I mean, the dude, he's funny. You know funny. What, I, what I'm curious about is, you know, if, if this has been his shit from the giddy up. Oh, yeah. See, I've never looked back. Or if he, like, decided that, oh, you know, he's throwing things to the wall and go, oh, shit. Or something. He did something. Uh, lash out at some black bitch uh, and it <laughs> sparked a firestorm. He was like, ding. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Something, something. I mean, because it, it just literally seems to be motivated for uh, uh, marketing purposes and just giving himself some buzz and 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 traction, as they say. And in, I, I, that's what I think it is. I, now it would be interesting. Yeah, maybe we should go back and check out the beginning of his stuff. But mm -hmm. you or, know, or. all black women are not what he say they are. But you know, Miss Rakesha Burns, and yeah, and I am sort of like this person. And we spoke about the Freakonomics thing. If your name is some Isha Aisha shit. I mean, you're going to really have to prove to me that you're not a stink ghetto dog. I'm sorry. Just sight unseen. If I hear that name, I'm thinking of some, some trash. I'm just thinking of trash. So I am a snob when it comes to those names. I'm thinking of trash. You know, middle class, just like homeboys. It's not that. It's just, you, know, it, I, you know, I just had too many experiences with, with ghetto, funky, foul whores and stinking ghetto people with these fucked up names. And I'm like, what are you trying to, you know, you, you, you give these made up names, you know, like you just threw a bunch of syllables together. And it's like uh, uh, Andre, LaShondre. I, 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 uh, I like the, uh, you know, the back to Europe movement where, everyone, like I said, is a LaFrank La and a, and a, and a LaDan. And a fucking yeah. la, la freak shock lock a bock em it's all fuck. Some bullshit. DeAndre, fuck, not even D, 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 Sean, D, Sean Doe. Like, man, shut the fuck up, niggas. The only thing they know about <laughs> is fucking, I'm serious, the only thing they know about anything like that is if they watch Pepe Le Pew on TV or something like that. They don't know nothing about all of that stuff. They're just stinking, disgusting vermin. Word. And we'll be back in two. <laughs>